Hello friends, in this video I will be creating an app which will be writing and reading data from the SD card. So start a new Android Studio project, give the name as EX9, click on next, API level will be 16, next, a blank activity, next, then finally finish. Okay, so delete the default hello world. So we'll start by designing. We'll have a text box, then three buttons: one for writing the data, one for reading the data, and one clearing. Now drag a linear layout vertical to the screen. So first drag a text box that is plain text. Then drag a linear layout horizontal to the screen. Make a size little bit bigger. Now drag three buttons. Change the text of first button to read data. Second button to write data and third one for clear okay so change the name of the text box to txt data okay so our designing is over now go to the text view we will create the event handlers so first button is for read data so create android on click uh, read data so click somewhere here okay. go to the this bulb symbol and click on create read data view so again go to content main.xml for the second button is for writing data so android on click write data Click on create write data view. Again go to content main. Third button is for clear. So create an event with the name clear. So click somewhere. Go to the bulb symbol create clear of view. Okay. So next initially we will create an object for the edit text. So edit text e1 so then we will refer it here e1 equal to edit edit text of find view by id r dot id dot uh, txt data okay so next we will write the code to write some data from the text box to the SD card. So first we will create a file object file um, some f equal to new file of so give the path the of the file slash SD card slash my file dot txt okay so in the sd card you are creating a file with the name my file dot txt then f dot create new file of so this will create your new file then we will create a okay then we will create an object for file output stream file output stream 
uh, will give us uh, f out equal to new file output stream of so the file name f okay so it's asking for handling exception so we'll put it in a try catch block so try catch exception e okay so all the red marks has been removed next we have to create an object for output stream writer output stream writer m out equal to new output stream writer of f out okay then for the output stream writer object m out dot append of um, e1 dot get text of dot to stream of okay. then we will close the object m out dot close off and the f out dot close off so to give some message that the data has been uh, written, we will toast a message dot make text of get base context comma the message that is data uh, written to SD card comma toast dot length long then dot show off okay so in case of exception we'll uh, toast the exception message toast dot uh, make text of get base context of comma so here we'll display the e dot get message of comma toast dot length long dot show off okay. so this will show the error message now the next function will go for uh, clear clear is very much easy just we have to type e1 dot set text of the null string okay so next we'll go for the read function so read will be almost uh, similar to the write function so what we'll do is uh, we'll copy some part so copy this part from try to catch from the right and paste it in the read function okay so the first line file f is equal to new file of is needed then we not need to create the file so we'll delete this so we'll delete, delete this much out and we'll write the remaining code so file f is equal to new file then file input stream instead of output stream uh, fn equal to new file input stream of uh, my the file f then buffer reader buffer reader to read the data bf equal to new buffer reader of so inside this new input stream reader of fn okay so then we'll create two string variables string uh, d row equal to null and string 
dbuff is equal to now and inside the while loop we will uh, read the data while d row equal to buffered reader object pf dot read line of is not equal to null so we will be reading till the reader is not equal to null and we will be appending to the debuff so debuff plus equal to so d row plus slash n okay then we need don't need the toast message so we will set the text so e1 dot set text of the a buffer that is debuff okay so now we can close the reader so our uh, reader object vf dot close off f in dot close off so we have created close both the object okay so you can uh, give a toast message like uh, finish reading okay or in case of exception the message will be displayed here so the coding is over so now you can run your application you can click on the green symbol so your application will start compiling So I will select the my emulator here and click on OK. Open my emulator. So it's asking for writing some data. So I will give a hello. Write data. It's state data written to SD card. So now you can clear the content. And to check whether the data is written, you can click on read data. You can see the hello message here. So that's all. Thank you for watching this video.